Hello and welcome to Tapping Tips. My name is Katie Walker. I'm an EFT trainer, mentor and practitioner. And I like to be able to show you um, in a fairly short period of time how we can use emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping on a daily basis to help to calm the nervous system, to help us to regulate so we can do and be and show up as we need to. Not necessar necessarily an overnight jobby, um, but certainly once you know this technique, once you perhaps have worked with a practitioner to work through um, some bigger stuff and build your capacity, um, you can then, you know, you have this at your fingertips um, to deal with those uh, triggers and stresses that sh appear in our lives. So this time of year, we're 11 days out from Christmas. <sighs> How are you feeling about that? How are you feeling about that? You might be going, hey, I've got this nailed. I'm Shopping's done, prep for the lunch day, um, all of the things that I need are set in place and I'm feeling great, I'm finishing up work, I've got all my projects done and all is wonderful. Good for you and I'm happy for you. For a lot of people that is not going to be the case. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't even started my Christmas shopping, I have no idea what I'm taking to the family for lunch or what I'm actually going to be cooking on Christmas Day. Everyone's coming here. You might be going into the last um, week and a half of work and you've got a stack of work that you have to get through. Um, there could be a whole lot of other things going on in your world as well um, on top of all of that. And you could be feeling a little bit stressed out, a little bit discombobulated. So let me show you how you can use emotional freedom techniques to help to calm the nervous system to be able to um, systematically, rationally, logically work through what you need to be able to work through, to be able to come to Christmas Day and um, feel in a better place. So I'm going to give you two examples. One is the work-related stuff where you might have, um, you might be finishing on Christmas Eve, last day of work, and you might be taking a week or two off and you've got a stack of work that you need to get through. So let's just um, start there. So if that is you, then what I would love for you to do is to tap along with me, taking full responsibility for yourself and your emotional well-being. Um, keep on tapping if you need to or reach out for some support if it feels like there is too much going on for you at this point in time. But imagine um, going, you might be at work now actually, or you imagine going into work and you know that you've got a pile of things on your desk. You might have a massive to-do list, your calendar, if you work electronic with an electronic calendar, it might be smacking you in the face. So whatever it is, I'm going to use um, looking at the calendar online and seeing all of these tasks that need to be done, these meetings that need to be attended to, and just that visual of the calendar. So that's that's the example I'm going to use. But for, for you, you might also be thinking, okay, I do have this pile of work and it's this one particular thing that I need to get done but I'm feeling really stressed about. So a, a project or um, some, some sort of task that you need to get done. So what we do is we think about that particular thing and what is the emotion that is showing up? What is the emotion that is showing up for you um, when you're either looking at your electronic calendar or that thing on your, your, your pile of work to do? What is the emotion? So it could be stressed, irritated, angry, upset, um, worried, nervous, anxious. It could be whatever emotion is showing up for you. So let's just use stressed. And when we identify the emotion, we then rate it zero to 10, 10 being very intense, zero being don't feel anything. So it's subjective. It's about you, how you feel about that particular emotion, what the sense is for you. So let's say it's five out of 10 stress, looking at the outlook calendar and all of the time slots are booked out that's what's making me feel stressed then we go okay so am i feeling that feeling that emotion anywhere in my body is that showing up anywhere in my body so just feeling your feet on the floor I've got my legs crossed over so i'm just going to feel my feet on the floor and i'm just going to do a little tuning check in it might be showing up in your chest it might be showing up in your stomach it might be showing up in your solar plexus it might be showing up in your throat you might feel it in your shoulders, it might be showing up in your head. Where is that emotion showing up for you? I'm going to say it's in my chest. And once we have the emotion, we've rated it, we've identified it in our body, if it's showing up in the body and we know what it's about, 
we can then start our tapping. So I want you to tap along with me using my words. You've perhaps written down what's showing up for you. Turn that over. Focus on what I'm saying. And here we go. So we start at the side of the hand and to find the side of the hand, we it's between the pinky and the wrist. It's that fleshy part on the side of the hand. And this is where we're stating what's going on for us. So even though I feel stressed in my chest, just seeing my calendar and all of the time is booked out. That is making me feel stressed because that means there's so much to do. I can still deeply and completely accept myself. And if that doesn't land by saying I deeply and completely accept myself, you can say, this is just where I'm at right now. So even though I feel stressed in my chest, just seeing that calendar and all that time's booked out, there's just so much to do and it's making me feel stressed. But I can still deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel stressed in my chest, just seeing that calendar and all of the time is booked out, I've got so much to do based on that calendar. It's just making me feel stressed. I still deeply and completely accept myself. And then we go to the top of the head. And this is just where we're repeating the emotion as we are sending a calming signal to the part of the body that's having this activated state, which is the amygdala. And we're just sending this calming signal whilst we're neutralizing the emotion. Feeling stressed. Start of the eyebrow, feeling stressed. Side of the eye, feeling stressed. The bony part under the eye, feeling stressed in my chest. Under the nose, feeling stressed. Under the lip, feeling stressed. Collarbone, feeling stressed. Under the arm, feeling stressed. And we just come back to the side of the hand and we think about the calendar, all the times blocked out. Notice what that stress level is doing has it gone up because sometimes when we start tapping and we tune in this the uh, level of intensity can go up ideally we want it to come down so just notice notice what's going on for you so stressed might have gone from five up might have gone five down to a two or a three what might then happen as we are calming the body we can get a little bit more specific so is there something particular about um, a time slot that's on that calendar, a meeting or um, something that's due. So if you can get a little bit more specific about what is there that's um, really making you feel that, that particular emotion, you might feel nothing now. You might have completely neutralized it. But what would happen if it's still there and we just add a little bit more detail, then we are really narrowing in on what we're, what's concerning us. So I'm going to do one more round on that. So even though I still feel stressed in my chest, I might have changed body, body location, but I'm going to stick to chest. Just thinking about my calendar and seeing that meeting with my colleague, I'm not prepared for it. I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I am feeling stressed in my chest, seeing my calendar and that meeting with my colleague, I'm not prepared. I haven't done what I need to. I still deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I'm feeling stressed in my chest, just seeing my calendar in that meeting with my colleague, I'm not prepared for it. I haven't done what I need yet. I still deeply and completely accept myself. Top of the head, feeling stress. Start of the eyebrow, feeling stress. Start of the eye, feeling stress. Under the eye, feeling stress. Under the nose, feeling the stress. Under the lip, feeling stress. Collarbone, feeling stress. Under the arm, feeling stress. Mm. And coming back to the side of the hand. And again, just checking in. What's that stress level doing? Excuse me while I scratch my nose. What's that stress level doing? What we're trying to do is get it down to zero. So just keep tapping, making sure you're sticking to that one thing. If it, there's a, a little bit more detail to it, then fantastic. But sometimes what can also happen is that the neural pathways will light up and some connections might be made to other times when you felt this same way. 
connections might form and you might find other memories or events are showing up. That is great. But just stick to the one thing at a time and note the other thing down. And then you can tap on that too. So just keep on tapping on the work-related stuff. So you can, on that, if you're finishing on the 23rd, Friday the 23rd, you can be going into that in a calmer state. When we're in a calmer state, the logical, rational part of our brain is online and we can just systematically, pragmatically work through what we need to. Calm, calm, calm. The other thing, thinking about all of the Christmas-related activities that we need to do. The Christmas shopping, the wrapping of presents, the organising of food for the Christmas day, whether you're having people at your house, whether you're going somewhere else, trying to do all the logistics around that. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about that? Again, could be stressed, anxious, worried, nervous, scared, sad, whatever, whatever is showing up, agitated, frustrated, irritated. Check in and think about one of those things. It could be getting your Christmas shopping done. Or it could be going and doing the food shopping and you just hate getting out there into the droves of people that are out trying to do their Christmas shopping. It could be trying to wrap and hide the presents from little peering eyes that might be sussing out what's going on. So just choose one thing. I'm going to choose the Christmas shopping because I still have quite a bit of that to do. So thinking about getting the Christmas shopping done and I'm thinking about it for my husband. Haven't yet done Christmas shopping, hun. I'll get it done. Um, notice what's showing up. So what's showing up for me is feeling a bit anxious, a bit anxious about doing the old Christmas shopping for my husband. Got a few ideas in mind, but I'm really not too sure. So we rate the, the emotion, anxious, zero to 10, sitting at about a four. Thinking about shopping for my husband. What am I going to get him? What am I going to get him? Okay, so just choose one thing that you're focusing on around the Christmas activity. Notice the emotion, rate it. Where's it showing up in the body? Even though I feel anxious and I'm feeling it in my chest, just thinking about shopping for my husband. I have no idea what to get him. And that's making me feel anxious. But I can still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling anxious in my chest, thinking about shopping for him, I have no idea what to get him. Whew. I feel anxious about it, but I still deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I'm feeling anxious in my chest, just thinking about shopping for my husband for Christmas, I have no idea what to get him. But I can still deeply and completely accept myself. Top of the head, feeling anxious. Side of the eyebrow, feeling anxious. Side of the eye, feeling anxious. Side of the eye, feeling anxious. Under the nose, feeling anxious. Under the lip, feeling anxious. Collarbone, feeling anxious. Under the arm, feeling anxious. Okay, here's what happened for me just now. As I was doing that, I think I got underneath the nose. This idea just popped up of something to get him. So that can happen. As you're calming, 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 this part of the brain light comes back online because it's not going into the body when we're activated and I've just thought of a gift so how does that make me feel that actually makes me feel less anxious anxious zero to ten I'm going to say it's probably sitting at about a one because I don't just want to get in one gift but one gift's come up so that's really cool thank you so much for letting me hold have this space to be able to do that so what I would continue doing if that anxious feeling did not come down thinking about that one thing maybe it went from oh I'm not worried about that I can get that sorted it's all good then it's gone to now I have to wrap all the presents and I have to hide them in the house somewhere. Notice what's showing up or I haven't done any of the food shopping. Need to get the food shopping done. That's making me feel stressed. Noticed, notice what is coming up. The emotion when you think about it in the here and now. Rate it and just keep tapping on those things as they show up. Because what will happen, like it just happened for me, is that we're in, when we're in a calmer, more regulated state, solutions come up our problem solving ability shows up and then we can see things very differently with a different lens and it just makes things so much better and easier for us to do what we need to do so i hope that's been helpful i may do one more just before chrissy um, but if i don't i wish you a wonderful wonderful christmas and i do appreciate if you do follow my work and if you are one of my clients thank you so much for um 
allowing me to hold the space and to be on the healing journey with you. If you do want to work with me, um, you can contact me uh, at hello at katiewalkereft.com or my website is www.katiewalkereft.com. But I wish you a very wonderful Christmas if I don't see you next week and a mag magical 2023. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, just enjoy the, the holiday season and um, whatever that brings for you. Take care.